We can say if we all look at our emails and, and all the requests of lobbying industry pros and cons on the climate, we can conclude climate is back on the political agenda very clearly. I think that is a very good thing because climate has never been away from the scientific agenda. If you look at how science has been evolving, meanwhile, the arguments for stronger climate policies have become stronger and stronger every day. But on the political field, climate, after Copenhagen and Cancun, it was a bit quiet on that front. But now it's clearly back on the agenda. So that is a good one. But what is very important, it, in the meanwhile, it has become a different debate. It is not only a climate argument anymore. It has become more and more an economic debate, an economic argument. If you look at the new industry, relying on climate policies, they are asking for more ambitious climate policies. Or look at our oil dependency, the situation in Northern Africa, the debate on oil dependency, it's becoming more and more important for our economic position in the EU. But also if you look at all the letters from industry, really lobbying for going to 30% because it's in their interest. It leads to, to their profits if we step up our climate ambitions, very clearly indicating that there is a fundamental shift in the debate on climate policies. And that is very important. It's not economy versus ecology, it's economy and ecology. That is very crucial. So what's in the report? Of course, very clearly, we are asking the Commission to come forward with a proposal to move to 25% reduction domestically. This is very important, 25% domestically, because that is the way to become less dependent of oil. That is the way to harvest the health co-benefits. That is also the way to really harvest the potential of energy savings. So energy savings is also a crucial part of the report because it's very clear if we meet our energy savings targets then we are already at the path of achieving 25% domestically as an EU. But of course in the report we are asking for 30%. So 25 domestically, but 30% as a whole. Because there are a lot of offsets still in the market. So if you have 25 domestically, we are discussing 30% as a whole as well. And in that way also limiting a bit the role of offsetting, which has been also part of the debate and that's also part of the report. Of course there's also a discussion on the adjustment of the emission trading system. Uh, let me be very clear. If you are stepping up climate ambitions through energy savings, then it's very clear that if we only do something on energy savings, the carbon price will go down. And studies estimate from 15 to even zero euros per ton carbon. So we need to do something also in the ETS system to make sure that we will have the right price to really have the incentives to move to green technologies. So it's going to be a crucial vote tomorrow for a future economy, for a green economy. I really ask the Commission to follow the request we will do as a Parliament tomorrow to come forward with a legislative proposal. The Council is moving, the Parliament will make its position tomorrow and then it's on to the Commission to come forward with a proposal because we know when we are discussing a legislative proposal in the Council there will be no veto for no country anymore and we will have majority in the Parliament, as we will see tomorrow, and a majority in the Council to really step up our climate ambitions and make sure that the true future economy is the green economy. Thank you, Mrs. Chairman.